I'm in the archive of the Royal Society in London, where all the precious objects are kept. And there's a really interesting thing that I've never looked at before in this envelope. If you look here, it's a rather beautiful envelope, and it says on the front, London, and then it says, Monsieur le Professeur, Mr. the Professor Thorpe, F for Fellow of Royal Society. And it's got a stamp. On the back, it's got a postal mark saying 29th of December 1901. And it's written in Russian. And it has a mark here from the Russian Red Cross. So let's look what's inside. And inside, there are two cards. And the first card says to Professor Thorpe to introduce Dr. Duncan with best compliments, D. Mendeleev. And so here is the handwriting of Mendeleev, the discoverer of the periodic table, or the inventor. And he is writing to Professor Thorpe, saying, this is my friend Duncan, I'd like you to meet him. And inside, for some reason, there is a second business card, which says D. Mendeleev, and it's got the old-fashioned spelling with two Fs at the end, like my surname, and then it says, Professor Emerite, that means Emeritus Professor, it means he's already retired, at the University of St. Petersburg, and he's got his address there, and it says 12th of the 1st, 1902. This is Mendeleev's business card. So if you came up to Professor Mendeleev and said, hello, I'm Professor Polyakov, he would say, I am Professor Mendeleev, and give you the card. I think it's terrific. I think it's pretty much as close as we can get to Mendeleev. Of course, we hope soon we will go to St. Petersburg and sit at his desk, but this, if you like, is receiving something that Mendeleev has actually given to somebody else. So we really know that this has been held by Mendeleev might even be his fingerprints on it. And yours now too. That's all that there is in here. And it's quite surprising that somebody would post a letter which just has three lines. But presumably, Dr. Duncan, who sounds as if he is Scottish or English, wanted so much to speak to Professor Thorpe, who may have been a very important figure, that he got Mendeleev to write him an introduction because he was too shy to go by himself. And what is very interesting here is that it shows that before emails, before the internet, that scientists in different countries were already communicating, collaborating together. And this is one of the wonderful things about the Royal Society's archives, that they have 350 years of correspondence between scientists in different countries and show how much science has been an international activity for so many years.